Hello there YouTube, welcome to Night's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Night, and you might notice if you watch this channel regularly there's a slight difference in the sorts of videos I've been putting out over the Christmas period, and this narration itself will perhaps sound a little bit different because I'm recording this in the audio booth where I do my regular day job. The reason for that is because the video you're about to watch was recorded in July. So an awful lot of the stuff I say in the intro and outro to that video probably won't make a lot of sense. It'll seem weirdly out of context, dramatically out of context actually, since a lot of things have changed since I made it. But I've been digging through old videos and trying to get rid of some because my external hard drive where I do all my videoing, all my video captures, game captures are on there, and I keep a lot of them for making reviews after the fact. So like, for example, my We Happy Few content, I'm still putting together, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still putting together the review for We Happy Few. So um, I've still got, so I've kept all the captures that I did for We Happy Few, and I think that's over 300 gigabytes of space. Now, I can delete most of that after I've completed the review, but until such time, that's 300 gigabytes of space I can't claim back. So I'm moving everything onto the other hard drive over Christmas while I'm taking a couple of weeks off from the channel, and so I'm kind of scraping the barrel and, and putting up on the channel some videos which have been on the drive for a long time, which I recorded a long time ago, but for what for whatever reason I couldn't ha put on the channel or I didn't have time to. So there you go, that's a very muddled, long-winded explanation of why this is going that way. But now I'm going to let you get back to watching Bomber Crew. Enjoy! Let's get on with it. I've waffled long enough. Let's try. You can probably make out the name of my new plane, maybe even from here. Knights, it depends on the size of your screen, I guess, and the resolution. Knights Redemption, I've called this one. So, you know, we don't need to recruit anybody. I've outfitted the crew. We don't. I've looked over the training. The aircraft is called Knights Redemption. And. See, there you go. Nice redemption. We got that. Well, you can see it on the thing there, of course, at the bottom as well. But we're going to go into the briefing and see what trouble we can get into. And this time, we're going to try to lose <laughs> fewer crew members. Uh, it's unfortunate and it's sad that we've lost these many crew members, and I'm gutted and I feel kind of useless. But you know what's really sad? You know, this is a silly little pixelated game and it's fun to play. But the really sad thing is that those numbers of crew members lost per missions flown. Because what did it say? We'd flown eight missions and we lost four bombers. That isn't actually all that... Sadly, that isn't all that far off the mark. You know, these guys were not expected to live long. Um, and, you know, there's a good reason for that. Uh, well, you know, there's a ra I said there's a rational reason for that. I don't like to call it a good reason. Cause... So there's an enemy ace in their mission area. Let's not start with that because, you know, let me break myself back into this slowly. Short duration, low risk... Um, you know, perks for different things, a medium duration, medium, and so let's not, let's ease myself back into it gently and we'll do this. Clear blue sky, so far, oh. but we're flying from England so all that could change in a heartbeat. Or roll call, Rogers, oh that's right, yeah, Captain America, that's Steve Rogers, isn't it, up in the thing there, Captain America. Rogers, Hall, Murray, Graham, McGooey, Farnham, and Morley. Let's hope that your time on my crew lasts a little longer than the last few. So, zoom camera, and I'm trying to sort of figure out everything that's going on. So, I don't know. Um, so, take me a second. I haven't, you know, stupidly, I haven't reacquainted myself with the controls, and I should have. Oh, no. Zoom camera. Okay, there we go. We have to zoom the camera out to get that. See? I told you I've forgotten all the controls again already. Ah, so it's fun to be back. Let's see where we're going today. Where is my navigator? There he is. Where are we going, Graham? Uh, just very quickly hopping right across the channel there. Ooh. Okay, okay. Next waypoint coming up soon, so that's 
See, I need to acquaint myself more with the various things that these people can do. Oh, Boop. New heading mark. <coughs> Captain Rogers. You can't do anything really, can you? Neither can you. Where's my mechanic? I really kind of need. I need to get some engine extinguishers again. Oh, crap. You know what I do need to do is raise the bloody landing gear, which I haven't. Stupid man! I'll have been using an absolute bunch of fuel there, look. Tank 1 and 2. Yeah. Not good. So, whether or not this will... You know, I need redemption after losing that many crew members. Whether or not this will actually... Uh, work mission target spotted. I don't know which of these is the closest. But, what we need to do is we need to get um, the bombardier there. Morley, we need to get you down to the bomb position. Open the bomb bay doors, Morley. Select a bunch of bombs, Morley. Flak. Oh dear, not good, not good, not good. Shall we go and try and get that photo? Let's. Ah. Oh, bloody hell. That's not good. Let's try and get these photos. Oh dear, not good, not good, not good. Okay, good photo. Let's try and get this one. Probably pushing my luck quite a bit here, really. But you know. Photo ready to take. Photo. Oh man, not good. Oh crap, more planes coming in. I can't tag them just yet because I need to take this goddamn photograph. Okay, now we need to head back in that direction. Let's go, boys and girls. Just getting shot to shit here. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Enemy destroyed. Good. <laughs> Good, because we got enough trouble with the actual targets. <laughs> Never mind the fighters. We actually shoot one down there. Okay, have we got another of the actual targets, because it's supposed to be two of these ammo dump places. We actually only see one. Oh no, enemy fighters spotted. Where are they? There they are. There's some more over there. I'm sure I saw some more fighters. Yes, there. Okay, boys and girls. Bomb bay doors are open. Get ready to release the bombs. <laughs> ready. We've got an engine on fire. That's not good. That's not good at all. Christ. No. Close the bomb bay doors. We're going to lose that engine. They can be put out with an emergency dive, but I don't think there's anybody, you know, I don't think Farnham can actually do one of those because we're at really low altitude. Let's climb a bit. Altitude. Okay. 
Okie dokie, we actually put out the engine fire. But we're short on ammo, so someone needs to sort that out. Mm. Morley, you're not really needed at the bomb position anymore. You need to get back and... Oh, crap. Need my mechanic. Go we Go and sort that problem out there. Uh, Morley, you were next, weren't you? I'll get some ammo. Um, we're still on Morley, aren't we? Right. Refill, fella, my lads, ammo there. Morley. I'll go get some more. No, although I don't think it's necessary, it looks like the airfield's actually already in sight. There we go. Drop the altitude there. Farnham. Back down to low altitude. Well, we lost the engine, but otherwise we're good. <laughs> Uh, bit of fun through the clouds there that's going to be a little plummet down through cloud cover we're in England you know so the sky is low oh we got a lot to make brum noises I should probably lower the gear though hey I'm going to say you've got to turn around again. You were way too high. For God's sake. I know you're out of ammo. Don't worry about it, Paul. There's no need to stress. Do we need to get crew members strapped in for landing? Magui, go back and sit in your position. Morley, go and get strapped in for landing. Hurry up, boys and girls. Coming in for landing. What we will be doing when we've whipped around. Oh, goody good. We're using up fuel fast. I know, don't worry about it. We're coming in for landing. We're going to make it. Don't fret about it. We're good. Uh, here we come. You see, look at that. Mission out. Nobody's dead or anything. There's probably, you know, some grazed knees and maybe one or two people have got a bullet through them. But he, look, the health of most of the guys there doesn't even seem that bad, really. So I think we're pretty good, all things considered. I mean, that was a really easy mission. So, you know, it's not really all that surprising that we were managed, that we were able to do that. But <clears throat> there we go. Oh, come on, Makui. Nobody ever sorts out them brakes. Mission result. Result. Mission success. Yes. But I did some extra things, What you? There you go. Return to base bonus. No slow time bonus. There you go. Optional recon photos. 2,000. Look at that. A lot of money there. We're good. We can do up the old boat a bit. Everybody returns safely. <laughs> nice. We're good, we're good. Lean? Oh, running lean, right, okay. So, what about... So, okay, continue. Focus. Focus. You must learn focus. Exit the debrief. Go to crew gear. There's a good lad. I don't know what we've got here. Let's have a look, shall we? Toughened small O2 bottle. Mm. Eh? Doesn't actually. Hmm. Um, okay. Vest. 
a sea survival vest which provides no protection against bullets whatsoever but it does help you survive if lost at sea which let's be honest might just happen combined life jacket vest equipped with survival gear so you know I mean ideally what I want to do is not lose any of you guys really but you know leather gloves that have been toughened to be more resilient against what the cold or no see it's no good against the goddamn cold survival okay boots toughened leather boots increased pretty much everything no real downsides that's good we'll have some of those <coughs> equip all the crew with the boots and then you know let's go to training and see what these guys have got then Farnham mm -hmm. oh god's sake what is it with that stupid boy McGooey. Lean. Combine. Conserve fuel by using a leaner mix, right here. Graham. Murray. Hall. Rogers. Morley. Hall. I think I'm going to have to swap you out for Rogers because. Here's my reasoning, right? If Rogers. I don't know where Rogers... Rogers is in the top gun, right? Now, unless we look at the ventral gun, the guy in the top gun is the guy that can reach the most positions. So if Hall, with his f extra focus skill there... Um, yeah, so if Hall is in the top gun, that means if we're going up against enemy aces, he's more likely to be able to take them out. That's my reasoning there, but you know, you may all disagree. Systems. Improved hydraulic system. Hmm. Uh, right, one of the things I do want to do is put engine extinguishers in. Yeah. Engine extinguishers, crew fuel tanks, hydraulics and electrical system, Mark II electrical system. Let's, I think we probably, one of the, another thing, oh, fuselage, lightweight fuselage. Armoured fuselage, mid. Mid. Tail, wings. So, 35% lighter, armoured fuselage, woo, 50 pounds heavier, <laughs> but 250% more, 250 points more protection. I'm going to have to look at these things at some point, but for the time being, let's... Let's look at the turrets. Let's go at the mid upper turret, that ball turret at the top there, and let's. With an ammo feed, ammo belts are automatically restocked without having to go to the ammo box. So that, it seems to me, is quite a handy thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe that then. <laughs> Maybe that's the one. That's what we need to do. I see. Okay. Not good, really. Um, let's go into the briefing. Let's go into the briefing and select this one of these other missions where we've got short duration, medium risk, enemy ace. No! Oops. Didn't really want to do that. Accidentally sent us on a mission I didn't want to go on. Whoopsie! Never mind. Uh, right, let's swap out Rogers and Hall then. Um, let's swap out Rogers and Hall. 
Okay. I'll just let me go there. Oh, you are my man with the focus, right? So you're going up there. Rogers, Captain America, you, my lad, can get yourself in that tail turret. Everybody else is good where they are. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Yes? Jolly good. Take off, Barnum. There's a good lad. Felix Feder. Well, we nearly took out Felix Feder the last time. This time, we're taking him down. You got that hole, Rogers? Good. We're gonna teach that swine a thing or two. Anything like last time, what we'll teach him, more than likely, is how to better put holes in the fuselage of our aircraft. But you know, that's just optimism, that's what it's all about. God. I know it wasn't for these bomber crews, they weren't about the optimism, they went into this assuming they were going to die, apparently. My grandfather's in the RAF. Um, he uh, wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't a pilot. He was uh, an airframe fitter. I mean, uh, where was he? Trinidad, I think, maybe. Not Trinidad. Somewhere else. But yeah, he was an airframe fitter from the RAF. So he used to put these babies together. Enemy fighters on radar somewhere. Let's locate them. There they are. Come on. Ah, Fader. Where the hell is he? You went easy on us last time, did you? See about that Phoenix. When I find you. When I find you, Phoenix. You're a goner. Still, for the time being though, we need to get Morley down into the bomb bay. Open up the bloody bomb bay doors, my old man. Good shooting call. Fader then. No idea where that guy is. Oh. There he is. Paul! Focus. Take out Fader. Concentrate on Fader first. Holding RT, press Y to send a gunner to get more ammo. Come on, quickly back. Stop shooting at me, you vandals! Close the bomb doors and get into a gun position, for God's sake. Uh, 
Ne, go. Vader. Oh, focus. What? I thought it was off again. Get him out. Oh. Get him. out. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's backing off, look. Really? All ammo belts used. Rogers. Go, go and get some more ammo. That's a handy uh, thing to know. Huh, interesting. Farnham, we're not going to get a lot from this mission, but you know. No, don't worry about it all. They're well and truly out of range now. Goodness me! Look at this, two missions in a row, nobody dead. Wow, that's going to be some kind of record. Oh, not even, oh yeah, no, I was going to say not that many bullet holes in us either, but yeah, they look like a sieve, so that's, forget that. Still, we're all back alive, that's the thing that counts, we're all back alive. Rogers has been fairly badly wounded, but you know, nothing that a few weeks in a bed with a, or a wheelchair or something won't cure. He's not going to get it, because I guess we're going to have to go on another mission, like, tomorrow, but still. Good God, that's a steep dive for the runway. <laughs> Screech. Eighteen hundred. What do we get there? Rookie. Felix Feder escaped. Yes, I know. I know. Returned and repaired. Turned to base bonus. Twelve hundred. So you know we're not exactly rolling in dough, but still, everybody's everybody's home safe. That's what matters, folks. You know, that's the important thing. So there you go folks, there you go, that was my Bomber Crew episode that I recorded in July. I'll have to do another outro now because the outro also won't make a lot of sense. So the usual stuff, you know, you can find me on Twitter if you want to follow me there at Knights underscore Arcade. I'll put the little lower third thing and there'll be a link in the description there. As far as the channel itself goes, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more videos from me. Like the video if you liked the video. Obviously, don't click the little thumbs up if you didn't like it. There's no need to click the thumbs down. And I mean, I can't really see what was traumatically traumatic or offensive about this video, but, you know, it's your call, man. Whatever. But until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty-night.